Welcome back. You're watching the talk with James Beer. I'm James Beer, and our guest is Elliot Rodriguez from CBS4. Now we'll talk about something totally different. Sure. About strength, first of all. What makes you strong? What is it you feel like? Oh my God! Whenever I hear it, whenever I feel it, I'm, I'm really a strong person. Oh, what gives me strength? Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it has to be my family, it has to be my, my children, my wife, I have a lovely wife who's very supportive, and that's what gives me strength. Also, I feel that I am doing a job that's important to the community by giving them information, especially now when there's so many attacks on the media, so that gives me strength. It gives me strength when I see uh, people in the media doing, a, doing their job, which is just yeah. basically reporting stories. Wow. What keeps you awake at night? Awake at mm -hmm. night, uh, my again, that would have to be my children. It would have mm -hmm. to be my daughters. I, when my youngest daughter told me she was going to move to New York, I was very nervous because I remember New York the way it was when I was growing up there. I was like, oh, my God, my baby. But it's not like that anymore. New York is a wonderful place, very safe. And she was keeping me up for a while, but not, not anymore. Besides TV, what is your passion? I know... Cooking is maybe <laughs> one of them. So well, I think I fooled you with cooking because oh, really? I, I did remodel. Oh. My, I did remodel my kitchen and spent a lot of money on it. I put pictures well, on social yes. media, and I did put out a video where I make Cuban coffee. Oh, so I think I threw you part. off there. But as far yeah. as a cook, I'm not really such a great cook. Well, what, what about the turkey? Because we just saw some 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 videos oh, of that special. Yeah, one. for Thanksgiving once yeah. a year, I do I do help with the turkey. Wow. Uh, yeah, my wife and I usually make, this year we didn't, but usually we get a big turkey, we brine it, and it's a whole process. One of the things that I'm very passionate about is uh, I have a little dog, uh -huh. his name is Fred, and I lost him about three years ago. I lost him, I left him with uh, a dog sitter, and he ran mm -hmm. away. And thanks to social media, and thanks to the support I got on social media, we were able to, f we found him. And the support I got to, from social media really kept me going during that period. Because if you, I don't know if you have a, a pet or not, it be, they become a member of the family. Yeah, of so when he was lost, in my house it was almost like being in a funeral. Yeah. So by the time, during the time he was lost, I got so much support from people on social media. And then when I found him, I started a Facebook group. It's called mm -hmm. Operation Find Freddy. So if you are on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we give support to people who have lost their pets cats, dogs, and we've helped them find them we, by putting out information. Uh, there's so many d animal lovers out there, so that's yeah. something that I've been yeah. very passionate about and very proud of, the fact that we've been able to do it. We have like 3,000 members, wow. and they're very passionate people. Wow, great. I'm glad you, you mentioned social media because I want to know your connection with your fans outside of TV or in social media. You are very active. You know, how they respond to your, your comments, your, you know, your feedback. Well, I think what sets me apart from other people on television and social media is that I try to be myself. For example, I don't have a professional page and, you know, I do have a professional, but I don't spend, I spend most of my time on my personal mm -hmm. page because I am who I am, whether it's on TV or it's at home making Cuban coffee wow. or with my children or out in the community. So I try to be real. I try to keep it real. Yeah. And that's what I try to do on social media. I mean, sometimes people say, hey, Ellie, mm -hmm. be careful, you know. Yeah. But it's who I am. Uh, and at this stage of the game, I'm not going to mm -hmm. change. I'm not going to become somebody else. Wow. I'm Haitian. We have to talk about the Haitian community. Okay. I know you covered so many stories about the, you know, the Haitian community of South Florida. What is your take on the Haitian community? I think that the Haitian community is such an integral part of Miami. It's such a beautiful part of Miami. Uh, I love Haitian, the Haitian culture. And I think that Haitians have contributed so much and maybe have not gotten the, the treatment that they should. And the, the, I'm going to say the respect yeah. that really they deserve for being such an important part of this community. And right now my heart goes out to the Haitians who are looking at the TPS coming to an end. Yeah. And what are they going to do? They're here. They're part of our community. I think that our leaders really need to find a way to solve this, this issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, Haitians that are here are no different than Cubans who are here, people from the Dominican Republic, Bahamas. We all contribute to what makes South Florida great. Mm -hmm. And uh, Haitian uh, culture is a very big part of that. Let's talk about a piece of advice for our um, young uh, professional reporters or you know, TV personality. What is it you will tell a student to, to follow in order to be you or in order to be a great TV person? Well, the advice that I give to young people is follow your passion. Find something that you're passionate about, and then everything else will fall into place. But that's important. For me, it happened by luck. I just was at the right place at the right time, but I was doing something that I loved. 
And so the most important piece of advice is follow your passion and it will take you to success. Thank you so much, Eliana. Really appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to you as well for watching. My name is James Pierre. Yeah, we'll see you next time for another episode. Bye-bye.